Okay, so the final step is to open up QuickBooks through MicroCloud for the first time. So this is if you're setting up a new user, either yours or someone else's. Um, it assumes that you've already set up MicroCloud. So if you haven't, on our support page, we've got a getting started guide on how to set up MicroCloud for the first time. So we're going to open it up. Uh, we're going to sign in here. And I've got in my dashboard, I have just a my workspace connection which should appear just there okay so I have a my workspace connection you may have a QuickBooks my application or my desktop but if you just click um, my workspace or whatever your icon is there click connect and this is loading this up for the first time. So it's going to say hello, and then it will just do the, the basic configuration, getting that environment set up. So just give that a little second. Okay, so this is what your user would see or what you would see if you were working remotely. So all you have to do is open up QuickBooks as you usually would if you were sat on the host. And you'll see that the list of company files is blank in just a second. Uh, that's the update, click OK. Yeah, so you can see there it's blank like it was before. So we just need to open that file again. So open or restore a company file, open a company file, and we're going to navigate to that same place that we did in the last two steps. So your PC and local disk C drive, and we're going to users, public, public documents, Intuit, QuickBooks, company files, and rock construction, the one with the little colorful logo. And just before we click open, we're going to click to open a multi-user mode, um, just to make sure it always opens a multi-user mode. And the first thing it's going to do is say, do you want to set up some QuickBooks users? Now, whether or not you have already set these up, obviously means it won't appear, uh, but you can do that later. It's in the, the company section at the top of QuickBooks there uh, for each of your users to have their own QuickBooks login. So they'll also need a license as well. Um, so we're just going to press F2 here and check that the file we're working on is C users public documents as we set up before. So now we know that both the host and your microcloud users are using the same uh, company file. So good thing about that means you can just give it to your user um, and they will be able to immediately start working and it will be using the same file that you are. So that's it. If you have any questions at all, do open a chat with us via our website or send us an email at support at myquickcloud.com.